Hi guys, this is Mike with Designs by M, and today I am super excited to be part of a YouTube hop. I am going to do collaborations with several other YouTube creators, and we are making clean and simple Valentine's Day cards. There is also a giveaway. There is a $25 gift card up for grabs, graciously donated by Gail Thompson from the Darby Creek Diaries, so thank you, Gail. All of the information for the hop and the giveaway will be listed in the description box right below this video, so please check that out and see how you can enter. All right, so let's get started. So I have a craft color card stock here, and this is a four and a quarter by five and a half top fold card. I created a black piece that's actually the same exact size, so four and a quarter by five and a half. I created a this tan piece. This is four by five and a quarter. And as you can see, I went through and I distressed the edges. Now, I need, need to call out is I basically just created shapes. Now, since you're a crafter, you probably have either an electronic cutting machine or a die cutting machine. And so I used a combination of both. And so these are pretty basic shapes. Um, I created a darker colored uh, strip. This is three quarter inches wide by four inches wide or long. I created four hearts in two different colors. Again, I just used a combination of my electronic cutting machine as well as my manual die cut machine. And I have two of these little tags that I cut out from the same color cardstock as this one. I distressed them with some, um, I used some distressed oxide in vintage photo. And I just kind of distressed the edges just a little bit. And then I stamped on it. I purposely stamped on the texture side. I am using textured cardstock. So to give it a little bit of more of a distressed look. So most grateful and I love you. So basically super quick. This is gonna be such an easy card. Um, but it's gonna be a nice masculine card because I don't see a lot of masculine uh, Valentine's Day cards. So I'm just going to use some glue here because that is what I have sitting right here. Let's make sure my glue works. Of course it doesn't. If your glue don't work, you gotta make sure that you get it unclogged. Alrighty, so let's just apply some glue. Don't need a lot. I'm just gonna do about that much, just to keep it on there. It's a little hard for me to see because I'm, I don't want my head in the camera, so I'm kind of sitting a little bit far back. So there is that. Okay, perfect. And I think I want this one to be popped up a little bit. So let's put some foam tape on the back. Just a little bit. All right, let's pull that off. Let's put one more in the middle, give it a little bit, make it a little bit sturdier. That looks like about good. And now, because this is a quarter inch smaller, I'm going to tilt it up so that I can see it. Make sure that I get that as close to center as possible. Looks about right. There we go. That looks pretty cool. I like that color combo with the black behind the distressed tan here. That looks pretty cool. Um, and now we're going to put this strip um, I think I'm going to put the strip out here, and I'll just use glue for that. Now this card I purposely left the top blank. I don't think you need to fill up a card with... 
I don't think a card needs to be filled up top to bottom, so I'm purposely leaving this top part blank. Now I'm going to pop up these. Let's put a little piece of foam tape on this one. And I'm going to bend it because I kind of want these flared up just a little bit. And I want that to go there, like that. So if you can see it from the side, it is uh, bent up. And I'm going to do the same exact thing for this one. And you know, you put this in an envelope, it's going to flatten a little bit, but when you take it out, it should still pop up just a little bit. You don't need a lot. Let's just tuck this one like this. That's so cool. I'll bend this up a little bit too. All right, and let's add some hearts. Now, I was thinking, I kind of want the hearts to just be a shadow. So I'm going to do the hearts like this. And I think that looks pretty cool. We'll do it again for this one. Let's there we go. Perfect. I like this. And I'm going to put these approximately down like that. And we got a lot of dimension going on, so I'm just going to probably just end up gluing that. Like that. Maybe that one like this. And there you go. I mean, how quick and simple is that? I'm loving this card. I mean, this is a great masculine card. Not only because of the colors, but I really like how this just says a little bit of masculinity to me. Because hearts, I mean, I don't know. It's 2021, and to me, hearts don't really signify male or female. But generally, a heart would be more towards a feminine side. But maybe with these, it looks a little bit more masculine. I don't know. I'm digging it, and it looks really great for me. So this is the card. Um... I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, this was super quick, super fast. <laughs> um, most of this I just cut out just on my manual um, paper cutter and or my hand die to get these shapes. So basically any shape would work. And so um, I did have questions in the past about how do I finish off my inside? Well, normally I would take probably a four by five and a quarter or maybe a little bit smaller panel, coordinating, maybe white, just depends, and I would put that on the inside. I usually don't sign or put anything on the inside until I'm ready to give it to somebody. That way um, I can personalize it for them, and then I can just keep a whole bunch of cards in my stash. So that's why a lot of my videos, I don't finish off the inside of the card because I do that as soon as I go to give it to somebody. So that is my quick and simple card. I hope you guys liked it. Um, it's got so much great dimension on it and it's perfect. All right, well, don't forget, um, there is this is a YouTube hop, so there are other um, creators down below. So make sure that you click on the next person in the list and make sure you enter for the contest. Again, all of the contest information will be listed in the description box below. All right, guys, thanks for joining me today for this super, super fast and quick and simple masculine card. Until next time, bye.